Hey guys, what's up? I'm Emily from Southwood Design and today's video is all about the efflorescence collection. So I'm going to put the efflorescence definition right here, but basically to me it means coming into my own growth, especially in my artist career. I feel like I'm at the point now where I'm trying a lot of new techniques and kind of dabbling outside of my comfort zone. So I'm really excited for this collection. I hope you guys are too but I wanted to take you a little bit behind the scenes um, within the shop, within the painting and all the different aspects that are going into this wood art collection. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoy the video. So with this collection, I was really intentional about creating an inspiration board and just getting my thoughts onto paper of what I wanted this collection to feel like. Number one, you know I love florals, so I wanted florals with dark backgrounds just to make the flowers pop more. I wanted deep greens and a lot of natural colors, which I think naturally happens when you're mixing wood with any kind of floral aspects, but that's kind of the vibe, like the light wood and green I wanted to portray. And then lastly, just dark colors with a feminine and antique twist. You'll see pops of gold in some of these pieces. You'll see a lot of just like ornate designs and textures. And that's just something that I love that vibe in general. Like I want to continue to build out my style in that way. So these are the inspo picks that I had to look for reference while building this collection. the shop today I did not work on the collection really yesterday um, but I got the peony wood burn mosaic all glued up yesterday um, basically the process is I have to glue the centerpiece first last time I made paintings slash inserts inside mosaics I ended up pin nailing them along with gluing them and I didn't love seeing the pin nails so this time I just decided to glue them um, with wood glue and some Loctite glue, super glue, um, and then just let them sit overnight with a weight on it. So we'll also be working on the scroll saw today. So I have this double stacked peony that I drew on my iPad and already got it sized and taped up so I can cut it once and have two flowers. And then it also will have like leaves and greenery and all that good stuff. So. I'm gonna cut that today. Hopefully be able to shape it today also, that way I can get it primed and get the um, piece rolling. And then while that is primed, I would like to start working on the peony um, mosaic that is glued up. So that's what we're getting into today. This is definitely one of the most intricate designs I've cut and shaped. After cutting every single petal, I went in and hand shaped and dremeled all the petals. I think when I counted, there was almost a hundred pieces between the backer and the flower and all the things. So it definitely was a challenge for me. And this is one of the first pieces I created in the collection. This was before I got some new bits, which I'm excited to tell you guys about, but I think overall the end result turned out awesome.
after finishing the Blackburn Peony Mosaic, which was the first time I ever used my wood burning kit, I was like, heck, let's go big. Let's do a large piece. So here we are working on a very big burn piece, which took me many hours just to do the wood burning part. And we're going to build it into a mosaic. Hey, remember that time in my last video when I said I got a bunch of walnut and I'm excited to try it out? Here it is. So I currently do not have a router table, so I'm going to be sanding the edges of each piece, which I know takes forever, but I need a little bit of a bevel just to give this backer some dimension. So yeah, I guess I need a router table. If you can't tell, I absolutely love peonies and I knew I wanted peonies on this walnut backer and I wanted to keep it really neutral. So I went with an all white flower, but first step was to scroll all the pieces again, shape them just like I did the previous piece, but I actually started using some new bits. These are the saber tooth bits, which if you wanna see a whole video on that, let me know. But I actually really, really like them and it made it really easy for me to achieve the shapes that I wanted in this piece. And yes, every single petal is always hand sanded from knocking it down, shaping it by hand, sanding it by hand. There was probably over 10 hours just in this piece. Probably more honestly I'm very bad at tracking it but the end result again was just like so worth it and exactly what I wanted this piece to look like. <laughs> 